let's uh, we we started off talking about Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Of course, they lost last night in a thriller to the Las Vegas Raider. Rob G is very happy about that. But Rob, we we touched on it in the first hour. We touched on it a tad yesterday. I'm I somebody close to Lamar needs to grab a hold of him, Rob, and be like, look, bro, you need to get this contract taken care of. And I'm not predicting he's going to get hurt. No, I'm just not, saying we're not it's putting a that in the universe, but, right. but I mean, come on. Even if you're not a running quarterback, it's a possibility. You're always taking a risk, right? Because it's the nature of the game. Blindsided hit, Chris. You're not expecting it. There's so many things. We've seen people get hurt, you know, just uh, somebody, your teammate gets falls on your on your leg. You know, yep. I mean, it's all yep. could snap. You know, yep. you get sacked. We saw, we watched. I know. I don't know if you did, but I saw when Joe Theismann's oh, leg yeah, got snapped on Monday Night Hard Football. Watch. Changed I the mean, game. Yes. That's what made the left tackle so important. But, yep. uh, yeah, I just think he took some hits last night. Um, he landed on his helmet. And it was interesting, Rob, that the commentators didn't even mention anything about it. Really? I think if many other quarterbacks did that, they would say, oh, why? you know, that's dangerous. Or, you know what I mean? Like, we expected of Lamar, and I'm not saying that's a good thing because we expected it of Cam. We were so used to Cam running and taking hits that we didn't make a big deal out of it when he really got rocked. Uh, and now you see that the wear and tear on his body is taking his toll. And it could happen with Lamar, Rob. And so I just think he needs to go ahead and ink that deal, get four years, $140 million or whatever it's going to be, somewhere in that neighborhood, and lock that in. So if he does get hit, if he does get hurt, then he's covered. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I would like to see him do it. The, the story came out yesterday that – the reason he doesn't have a contract extension at this point is because, one, he doesn't have an agent, and, two, he's so focused. He was so focused on getting ready for the Raiders, and they still could negotiate during the season and, and signing the contract's a possibility. But my thing is, you know what? And now he's focused on the Chiefs. And the week after that, he's going to be focused on whoever they, they play next. And every week he's going to be focused on the opponent. If you don't want an agent, fine. Go get you a lawyer, pay him by the hour, and let him negotiate with the team. But get it taken care of. Yeah, at the time has come. I mean, he he should be paid, and you got to make sure you protect yourself. We've seen situations of guys uh, in, in situations, and you know how it is. I mean, it, you just don't know. You remember, I bet you if you, you talked to Isaiah Thomas, the new Isaiah Thomas, he would <laughs> never he would never go and play he a lost playoff about game. about $100 million, Rob. He, right. He was, what was he, fourth in, uh, in, fourth uh, in MVP, MVP. Yep. M- MVP voting that year, Chris? And he went out there trying to play for his team, got hurt. The Celtics never paid him. He never got yep. paid, actually, from anybody. Rob, <laughs> God forbid that Lamar Jackson gets hurt this year. But let's say he did. I bet you they franchise him. I bet you they franchise tag him. I think so. Yeah. I might be wrong. They didn't do it with Dak Prescott, at least that year. They they had done it, what, once with him or twice? Might have been twice. With, was it twice with Dak? Rob G., check that out. But uh, he got his deal, but he's a guy that throws the football a lot, too. Right. Lamar's different, and we've all wondered how long he's going to be able to last with that style of play. But – uh I'm just saying it for him as a person. I like to see him get his money before uh, it's too late. But, um, you know, we will see how that works out. We're certainly not writing off the Ravens after one game. Uh, and, yeah, uh, Dak played on the franchise tag one time. All right, Rob. Um, John Gruden, who won a big game last night, and, you know, Mike Mayock, his GM, comes out and said they expect to make the playoffs. It was a big Gruden, win to start yeah, the season. Yeah, it was a big win. They look good. Gruden has, you know, been there three seasons. This is his fourth. Has yet to not only not make the playoffs, 
or has yet to make the playoffs. Playoffs. But he has yet to have a winning record. And while I get why Raiders fans might be feeling good, I would just say be cautiously optimistic. Because you were here last year. They were six started and well three. the last two years. Yeah, right? absolutely. I, mean, I think I don't know about the year before. I, I Rob G, where were they, they, they the were year okay. before? They were like three and two. They were something like that. The, I, the I two thought years they ago. started out. I know last year it wasn't year they, great, but it was okay. But last year they were six and three. They beat New Orleans. They won at Kansas City. They won at Cleveland, and then the bottom fell out, and they finished two and five to go five hundred. So um, be cautiously optimistic, but yet optimistic. They did a lot of good things last night. Darren Wilder looked really good at tight end. 19 targets, Rob. I know Shannon Sharp was sitting there like, my goodness. I'd, I'd, there were times he, I'd go a month without 19 targets. Right. Oh, they, but the you know? game has changed, right? Yeah. I mean, he died to get 19 targets in the game. But John Gruden said something asinine after the game. That's the only way I can describe it. And uh, here it is. I thought he mishandled a ball or two, uncharacteristically. He had a penalty call back, a big catch and run. Uh, he's the best player I've ever coached, so I'm going to continue to look for him. And um, sorry about that, Vic, but, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a hell of a player. He deserves some good looks. Uh, right. I, I, Are you yeah. all right? <laughs> Let me just tell you a few of the guys – that John Gruden is coached. It, so, so you're trying to say before you get into the list, John Gruden had turned into Chris Broussard last night. He was a prisoner of the moment because they won a big game and his <laughs> guy, uh, you know, played well. Uh, no, I am not a prisoner of the moment. Yeah, I am okay. a guy that is like prophetic. But anyway, John Gruden, here's a few of his players, Rob. Uh, Jerry Rice, anyone? Only, uh, in my view, the best football player we've ever seen. Tim Brown, anyone? Warren uh, you Sapp. Just, you just named Hall of Famers. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, just... Warren Sapp, pre- pretty decent player. John Lynch. Charles Woodson. Uh, Rod uh, Hall Woodson, of Famer. friend of the show, Rod Woodson. Every one of those guys is a Hall of Famer. And I didn't even mention Keyshawn Johnson, who's not a Hall of Famer but was a good player. He was there I'm when they sorry. won that championship. I'm, Derek Brooks, Hall of Famer. I mentioned John Lynch, I think, Hall of Famer. Like, stop it. I mean, come on. Somebody better trash John Gruden. And I get it. Darren Waller's a nice player. He, he's beyond nice. I mean, he looks like he could really be good. He really could be something special. And I get it. We've seen six-round picks become great. Uh, Tom Brady, anyone. But I'm just saying, dude, was a six-round pick. I'm just saying, wasn't he on the the Baltimore's practice squad? Was he cut, Rob G., from the Ravens? He was cut. So, great reclamation project. He's gone to the Raiders He's become something special. He was a pro bowler last year. Just leave it at that. And, and, and you or might two like years, yeah, and, last and, year. And you might like him a lot, Chris. And you you know what I mean? Like you see the guy progress and you feel like you had a hand in it. But to disrespect guys who are Hall of Famers and say he's the best player you ever coached, it was just like we saw with uh in Washington with um I just forgot his name, uh Brooks, Scott Brooks. Who's saying, you know, like other Russell than Magic Westbrook. Johnson, that Westbrook right. was the best point guard ever in the NBA? Like, like yeah. what? Like, I, we get it. You got a relationship with him. You like him, but stop. Okay, let's Bro, not get and I, carried. I in. hear you. I, I don't. Even, I think this was even worse than that. And I get it. obviously Westbrook's not the second best point guard ever, but I mean, at least there's a body of work there, Rob. Right? No, I. I, I mean, it. at the very least, I can be like, look, he's the only dude to average triple double multiple years. He's right, been to I, an NBA fight. You know what I mean? I, I, At least I, I, got I, I can make it. an I got argument. It, but I'm just, I, I got it, but I'm just saying sometimes these coaches, they kind of get crazy with this stuff after a game. The only possible way, and I, I guess I would expect John Gruden at some point, somebody's going to ask him about it, and we'll see what type of clarification he gives. 
I, I guess that the only – Jerry Rice was, you know, past his prime or, or later in his career. I mean, Rice had a long prime. But later in his career – with the Raiders when when Gruden got a hold of him. But Tim Brown, he coached Tim Brown for several years. Warren Sapp, it was the meat of his career. John Lynch, like, I, it's just no way to justify this. Every single one of those guys I named, Rob, was a beast. A beast. And you're telling me Darren Waller is the best football player you've ever seen? Or ever coached? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We we got a break. We got a break. Are right. you that upset? <laughs> My goodness.